Today, as a result of Israel's military operation, nearly 1.2 million civilians are sheltering in UNRWA premises. The agency has become the primary platform for humanitarian assistance to over 2.2 million people in Gaza, a platform on the verge of collapse. The majority of the 1.9 million displaced Palestinians in Gaza are seeking shelter in UNRWA facilities, which primarily consist of schools and tents. These locations themselves are not safe. To date, and despite Israel having been provided with the coordinates of all UN nations facilities, Israel has killed hundreds of Palestinian men, women and children seeking shelter in UNRWA facilities and injured over a thousand. UNRWA is, as of today, still operational in Gaza, though just barely. Our staff are still operating health centres, managing shelters, and supporting traumatised people, some arriving carrying their dead children. We are still distributing food, even though the corridors and courtyards of our premises are too crowded to walk through. Our staff take their children to work so they know they are safe or that they can die together. More than 130 UNRWA staff are confirmed killed in bombardments, most with their families. The number might rise by the time you read this. At least 70% of UNRWA staff are displaced and lack food, water and adequate shelter. We're hanging on by our fingertips. If UNRWA collapses, humanitarian assistance in Gaza will also collapse. In my 35 years working in complex emergencies, I have never written such a letter. Predicting the killing of my staff and the collapse of the mandate I am expected to fill. Throughout Gaza, there are acute shortages in warm clothes, bedding, blankets and critical non-food items with people heavily dependent on salvage wood and waste for cooking and warmth, raising the risk of respiratory diseases. There is also an acute shortage of clean water, severely impacting not just the ability to hydrate, but to wash, clean and cook. The siege and infrastructure damage from bombing continue to prevent adequate water treatment and distribution and sewage management, with flooding exponentially increasing the risk of the spread of infectious diseases amongst displaced Palestinians. On the 20th of December 2023, the Director General of the World Health Organization warned that Gaza is already experiencing soaring rates of infectious disease outbreaks. Diarrhea cases among children aged under five are 25 times what they were before the conflict. Such illnesses can be lethal for malnourished children, more so in the absence of functioning health services. Sewage is flowing into the streets where Palestinians are living, as it can no longer be managed. Everywhere you look is congested with makeshift shelters. Everywhere you go, people are desperate, hungry and terrified. These conditions, deliberately inflicted by Israel, are calculated to bring about the destruction of the Palestinian group in Gaza.